Hey yo, my Polanicus of Friends, Johnny5 Alive here, and welcome back to another mini park contest results video. Today we're going over the final bracket of the entire contest, the legend bracket, but we are not done there. After today's video, there is going to be a best of top five overall combining every single bracket in one so we could determine what are the five best parks when all ranks are in the same bracket so be sure to check the community posts on youtube in the next 24 hours as well as the announcements in discord there will be a post to vote the final voting form of the entire contest to pick your top five overall and we'll do one final video going over the entire contest the top five and crown the new coaster king but talking a bit more on the legend bracket we had a total of nine submissions for the legends which i think is a, a world record for our legends so far a lot of competing legends and masters in this contest and it's great to see and with the votes we had a total of 352 people vote on this bracket so thank you everyone to uh voting on the final bracket making this a decisive top five so what do you guys say we get on with the final top five of the brackets before we go into top five overall starting with number five Grimhaven created by Coaster Cad. <laughs> Grimhaven, what a unique creation, building everything up on this gigantic, grim, spooky mountain, a menacing creation, and one of the very few spooky submissions throughout this contest. I think we had a total of three, and the spooky people are coming out on top, it looks. It's nice to see some people taking a stab at a theme that might not be as welcoming for a theme park and being successful at it. Grimhaven had a lot of depth to it. It, it was another park that utilized that 40 by 40 by 40 uh, using that Y axis. And for me, it had a very memorable dark ride. The dancing skeletons going through the halls of the, uh, the banquet or whatever you would call it, the bar with all the dead people. It was super playful. One of my favorite scenes in uh, any spooky creation out there. I, I wanted to see more of it. I wanted to I wanted to see a whole universe done like that. And I think it's it's a, a great thing to play around with. I think this idea of reanimating skeletons, reanimating the dead and creating life out of it is something we definitely need to see more of going into uh, spooky creations. Grimhaven had a lot more fun elements. The windmills on top of the hills and the spooky broken downtowns above the giant rock, the giant bridge leading you into the park itself, and the, uh, the haunted harbor down below where you got to do all your shopping and flat rides and fun things like that. It really was a dynamic park, had a lot going on. Congratulations, Coaster Cat, on this a very tremendous spooky creation and getting fifth place in the Legend Builder bracket. And number four goes to Emperor's Delight, created by Web Searcher. <laughs> oh boy, is this awesome. Seeing one of our moderators compete in a contest and succeeding in the top five. You still got it, Web. You're still kicking strong and you're still keeping up with the best of the best. And that is absolutely amazing to see. And uh, I don't think I've ever seen Web Searcher compete in a contest, I believe. And uh, you're coming out top four. That's absolutely amazing. Emperor's Delight was very delightful. The, you, you had this, the, the reference images of where you got the idea from and you nailed it perfectly. We had this beautiful Asian castle big walls, big colors, great color palettes, absolutely gorgeous details from the, all the entrances to the rides, the shops, and the plazas. There was so much details, little waterfalls, golden trims, beautiful ornate flowers, gigantic mystical scepters period over the entire park i personally just really love the color palette in this whole park the 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 yellows the reds the pinks and golds it really played on the asian theme that you're going for but added a touch of something different in there and the, the wendigo coaster or sorry junior dragon was a lot of fun too the way it navigated the park went up and down and you kind of were like a flying dragon going over the city and exploring around it was just a lot of fun ambience was great in this park there was always some sort of music going on and it just really came to life it was super fun and friendly beautiful backdrops as well 
a lot of terraforming gone into the mountains in the background. We had little huts up on the hills in the far distance. And there's just a lot to look out at even beyond the tall walls. So really had it all. And uh, congratulations, Web Searcher, on placing fourth place in the legend bracket. You are still one of the top legends. And that is absolutely amazing. Congratulations, Webby. And let's move on to our third place winner, the bronze medallion winner of the legend bracket, a Steam game of your choice, going to Prince Coasters Academy, created by Rohana. <laughs> this is gotta be the most playful creation in the entire contest, and uh, it was the best community driven creation. Uh, even though it was created by one person, it did feel like it was created by the community. Rohana utilized all the community members, created them into little people, little Planko people, or I guess the mascot of Prince Coaster or King Coaster, converted it to little people. We had all the community members in there, all the active community members, all Rohana's favorites, turned into their own little people, going to school to learn how to be better coaster makers. I love this one, and personally, it, it's it's one of my favorite creations in the entire contest, just because it has the essence of what the community is about. It teaches you something. It's just very creative. And when I looked to do spotlights in the very, very beginning, it was all about like inspiring people to do something different and then having an audience that could see that and take that and create and get come up with their own creations. And I believe Prince Coasters Academy does that perfectly. When you look at this and you visit this park and you watch the episode and you're just a part of it and you see all the uh, active community members within the park and how much care Rohana has put into, you know, how, how we should, uh, every single member in this community has a different lesson to teach. And, and they're teaching their lesson within the park. And it just goes to show that every single person in this community has made an impact to inspire somebody to do something great. And that's somehow captured in so many microwaves throughout this creation. And it inspires people to keep doing what they're doing. And I absolutely love that. It encompasses Coaster Spotlight, Park Spotlight, and takes the spirit of those and embraces it. So personally, for me, this is one of my favorite creations in the overall contest for all the reasons I just gave. It just has so much playfulness. It really does teach you something. And I almost feel like this should be a park map that's built into the game when you load it up. It, it has that mascot vibes. It's it's uh, King Coaster's son, the Prince Coaster, and it just is a beautiful park. The, the flat ride skins were great. The Wendigo Coaster was amazing. And that ride, the the, the tour that took you through the entire school teaching you everything you need to know about coaster creations was just sensational. There's nothing done wrong here. Everything, it, it, it screams theme park, but it screams academy and it screams community. So I think it does everything. It checks all the boxes, but it adds a few extra boxes that nobody thought to check. And that was the educational aspect and the community aspect of bringing everybody together and showing what this Planet Coaster community is about. So for me, this deserves a prize no matter what, because Rohana, you did an absolutely sensational job, but you're getting third place. So congratulations, Rohana, on third place. You'll be getting the bronze medal in Discord, as well as a Steam game of your choice. Absolutely amazing stuff on Prince Coasters Academy, an unforgettable creation. I love it, and I can't wait to see what you do next, Rohana. Okay, moving on to the second place winner of the Legend Bracket goes to Black Forest Park, created by FSF Ranger. <laughs> The King of Dark Rides has returned and is competing for a mini park contest. And boy, did you do an exceptional job with this. This has got to be one of the prettiest parks when you open it up. Most realistic parks. And I mean realistic in the sense that when you're standing almost anywhere in the park looking around, you almost mistake it for real life. It looks, it's almost like you increase the HDR rendering for the game with your park. I, the way you chose the lighting, the way you place certain things and the way the shadows hit, the way the sun came in on certain angles, it just felt like a different game. It was beautiful. And that white castle in the background is just one of the most epic looking castles I have ever seen. The town itself, all the little builds that you did, I hope you can somehow upload these builds to your workshop, but they are beautiful. So uh, some of 
if not the best detailed buildings in the entire contest. Not only are they just detailed, they're colorful, they're lively, and they have so much ornate details to them. And it's just absolutely amazing. The, the whole park itself had a lot of vibrance as well. There's trees everywhere, garden works, and everything had a purpose. The way the town was laid out, it made sense. And it all kind of cascades and rolls down from the castle where everything's very bustling and it leads down to the harbor. And then you get this beautiful view of the lake. And then you have kind of this boomerang coaster that goes all the way through and pops out the cuckoo clock and back in. And that was, it wasn't like the most crazy main attraction for a coaster that we've seen, but it was just elegant and well done. Definitely the best boomerang that I have seen in Planet Coaster history, even though it had the simple elements of a boomerang. It's all about the theming and how you integrated it and it swoops down under the bridges and below the park and pops out the top of one of the buildings. It has this uh, this bait and switch kind of element to it where you don't know where you're going to get on this coaster. You don't know where it's going to end up and it kind of explores the whole park. It's very cool, but you didn't stop there. The main attraction was a river rapids that took you through the big, giant, beautiful castle and took you on a beautiful nature experience through the back ends of the park and you really got to absorb it. It was so relaxing. It's so magical. This really does feel like something we could go visit in real life. It has, it, it doesn't scream theme park right away, but it feels like a magical Disney place. You feel like you're going somewhere and it has rides added in to increase the fun factor of a beautiful vacation place, a magical fantasy experience. And that definitely deserves top two of the Legend Builder bracket. And I'm actually shocked it didn't get first place. This was definitely one that I thought was gonna be impossible to beat. And it was the first one we ended up featuring of the Legend bracket and I thought, Jeez, should I have featured this one first? Because I don't know if anyone's gonna top this. And I completely forgot there's a dungeon dark ride down below. And while it might not have been the most memorable dark ride this compared to what FSF Rager has done in the past, because FSF Rager is the king of dark rides and has created dark rides the size of entire parks where this is a mini park and they were limited to their space. But you did this dungeon dark ride and it was super, super fun. <clears throat> and it showed a lot of detail one of the, the best detailed dungeon that we've seen throughout this contest and it was just absolutely immaculate so you had your river rapids you had your dark ride you had your simple but amazing boomerang coaster a wonderful magical town the best castle in the contest by far beautiful scenes realistic landscapes I, again i'm having a hard time going how did this not place first <laughs> and how is this beaten but you're placing top three in the legend bracket and that has something to say for itself sff FSF Rager, you are the top of the top of this community. So keep doing what you're doing and congratulations on second place. You'll be getting the silver medallion for Discord, a Steam game of your choice and the pride of being the top contender of the legend bracket. All right, congratulations FSF Rager. Let's move on to the first place winner of the legend bracket, the best of the best of the whole community. So far, the hardest bracket to compete in, the most stacked competition, golden medallion goes to Title Town, created by Sublines. Wow, freaking we, Title Town has it all. And you literally created a town that I think is comparable to things that we've seen in gigantic sprawling video games like Dragon's Reach from Skyrim or the main city from the Witcher video game series. You made a beautiful sprawling town that has all the elements that a medieval fantasy town should have. You had all these different districts stacked and leading all the way up to the top where there's like a chapel, we had a cathedral, we had an armory, <clears throat> there's a lighthouse. It has all these different districts at the top that are the main importance but they're surrounded by this beautiful lush greenery and big walls and everywhere you go around there's another important place to go visit and you get lost in this crazy maze of a city but that's how these medieval towns work they're always organized chaos you had the slums down below and the harbors down below and all the little uh, craft shops and things that you would expect to see where if I, I feel like if I were to play this as a video game, I'd almost understand the 
town. Like, oh, I got to go down here through this district to get to the blacksmith because I got to work on my weapon. And then once I do that, I got to go over to the harbor to get my fishing net and my rod so I can do some fishing later. And then I got to head back up to the chapel and relearn my skills on my priest. <laughs> you know, like it feels like it all makes sense in an RPG. And it's just absolutely sensational. Uh, there, it's for a medieval town that uses a lot of monotone colors, the browns, the grays, the browns, the grays. <laughs> You've dressed it up with a lot of fresh green colors and popping colors and elements. But the selling point of this all was like, when you first look at it, you don't really see a whole lot of coaster. You see a few tracks going over some buildings. You see a few tracks going over some castles, but it's kind of hidden. And then you ride the actual coasters themselves and it weaves and bobs and goes in and out of the whole town and back down somewhere else and there's so many unassuming hidden places where this coaster weaves in and out of it's just like wow how did you hide all this in here how did you jam all of this in here it's just sensational you did some pyrokinetic shows at the back with your flat rides uh <laughs> you you had it all you had so many bonus elements in here that just were unassuming and that is why you are getting first place because you checked all the boxes but you chose to do something that you said you know what i really want to make a medieval town and you didn't shoot for theme park but it has everything that you'd want from a theme park above and beyond great coasters I, I kept on saying something that deserves to win in this contest should have a great coaster or a great main attraction. And this had great coasters. And these were your main attractions, but it had really well decorated shops. It had really decorated flat rides with pyrokinetics. And you went above and beyond with its trigger sequences on said flat rides. And it had a beautiful layout. It was fun to navigate this park. We had a really good time. And even the park entrance, if you go all the way back, there was a little house and some Easter eggs over there with pink penguins selling cheap tickets. You did a little bit of a story on the outside as well. And the, you know, building this island up onto the big wide open ocean. It just felt like somewhere that truly existed. You chose something that you wanted to do and then you just drove all the check boxes into it rather than doing it the other way around saying I need to make a theme park but then add my theme to it you built your theme and just integrated a theme park into it and that is just shows legendary legendary building skills and that's why you deserve first place of the legend bracket sublines and I feel like every time your name shows up you're winning contests you're knocking things out of the park and you just can't be stopped sublides one of the top contenders in this community doing it again first place of the legend bracket getting the gold medallion steam game of your choice congratulations sublines you have done it again you are the top of the top on an absolutely amazing job with title town an unforgettable medieval theme park really well done Okay, now let's move over the top 10 score sheet and talk about that. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Here's the top 10 score sheet overall, even though we only had nine competitors, so we're only showing off the nine. But you can see here Sublines is coming out with a strong lead, but not a landslide like we've seen from some other brackets, but a very strong lead. And considering this is the legend bracket after all, that is very difficult to get a strong lead. I think the top three were actually really, really close. They, it, you know, it could kind of go either way, you know, depending on how you look at it but sublines is definitely a clear winner i think this is the closest top three we've had like it's a clear consecutive top three but above all the rest you know while a clear staircase between the top three scoring so high that it is def definitive that you guys are the best of the best of this bracket and there is no catching up to you three <laughs> But everybody in this bracket did a wonderful job. No matter how high, high you scored, um, this is the legend bracket all after all. It's not, a, it's not an easy bracket by any means. It's not easy to get to legend. And then once you get here, everybody's taking risks. Everybody's trying something different. And that is so great to see. I think once you get to the legend bracket, you have to do something different. As we saw here with Tidal Town, Black Forest Park, and Prince Coasters Academy, they are top of the top, and there's a good chance they're going to place in the top five overall 
overall best when we vote on that after this video. But if you compare these top three to anything done in previous brackets, the ones in the previous brackets are feeling more theme parkish. They're feeling more like a theme park and they're not taking these extravagant risks because I believe once the legends get to this point, they feel like they need to do what their personality is, what makes them a unique builder, and then fill in the check boxes of what's required in the contest on top of what they envisioned something that they wanted to build. As we saw from like Skygate from Warmgar, it's a giant flying Avenger ship, you know? <laughs> you guys have to end up doing something way out there that's completely different. And that's what's so great about the legends. They've been through it all, you guys. They've done all the contests. They've checked all the boxes. They've competed within the parameters and try to play it safe even at times as they were ranking up. And now that they're here, they want to do what they want to do and they want to do it well. And that's what all of you guys showed in this bracket here today. So there's nothing I really want to point out with these scores other than the fact that Sublines had a 134 first place votes. So at pretty much a majority of everyone who voted thought Title Town was the top creation of this bracket. And I definitely agree with this this score. I Part of me believes or wants Coast, uh, Prince Coasters Academy to win because of all the reasons I mentioned. And I just thought it pulled on all my heartstrings. But that's a per personal preference thing. I do think that uh, both these two top creations did something extravagant in their own ways. Uh, Prince Coaster really pulled on my heartstrings because it felt like a community driven thing. And that's pretty much it. I agree with all these votes, but there's uh, one that definitely pulls on my heartstrings in this bracket, and that's going to be Rohana. Really good job, Rohana. I loved it. And um, if it weren't for these two beasts above you, you definitely would be taking the crown for this bracket. <laughs> but you're up with some tough competition and it is what it is, but she did an amazing job. Look at the score Rohan is bringing in with her wonderful creation, and it was so much fun to visit that episode. Boom, so there it is. That is the legend bracket, ladies and gentlemen. Congratulations to everyone in this top 10 bracket for making it this far. You guys are legends and you're competing, so I wanna thank you for still competing in these contests. We need to see a strong legend bracket coming forward so we can inspire our newer builders and it's so great to see you guys still competing where in the past we've had to merge masters and legends because the brackets were so small we got to do a master bracket a legend bracket and have them plentiful with competition and it's so good to see so thank you to all the masters and legends competing in these contests thank you to the viewers for watching all these videos voting on all these videos because it's up if it weren't for you guys we wouldn't be able to do any of this i mean we need people to watch and vote we need everybody to be excited to, to participate. We need the community to keep growing on Discord. And, uh, you know, it's all thanks to everybody that's showing an interest in this channel and in this community too. So thank you to everyone. Thank you for the moderators who joined out in all of these contest submissions. We, we, we recorded almost 95% of the parks with a co-host. So thank you to all the moderators joining in on the videos. I think everyone absolutely loved watching you guys join in. And once again, a massive shout out to Zephor for putting together all the voting forms, organizing all the Discord chat rooms related to contest stuff and beyond, the Hall of Fame that he's integrating, we'll show that in a later video, and uh, you know, just keeping everything on track and allowing me to do what I do, talking in the videos, editing the videos, sending them up to you guys. It's such a smooth process for me because Zephor micromanages all the behind the scenes stuff and I wouldn't be able to do it without him. And same with the moderators, I wouldn't be able to do it without them either because when all this stuff is going on people are blowing up everyone's talking about submissions and creations the moderators are putting out fires keeping everybody in line and also making sure everybody's having a good time so thank you to the moderators as well we wouldn't be able to do this without you either okay but we're not done there we have some more bonus stuff to show off in the uh, top five overall get go get to voting you guys there'll be a post in the uh, youtube community channel as well as uh discord announcements you get to vote on the top five of the entire contest and determine the Coaster King taking the new crown, the top of the top of contests, a new Hall of Famer. So I, we want you to get in there and vote as quickly as possible because I want to wrap this contest up so the voting form will likely only be open for 24 hours. So I can take those votes, make the video and send it up. Maybe we'll let it sit a little bit longer. We'll have to wait and see, but try to vote as soon as possible. If you're watching this video now, go check for it or, and check back in a few hours because we want to get these results up and out and uh, determine who the top five is overall so that we can 
move back to uh, some regular spotlights and we have a bunch of submissions from another contest sitting in the back burner. So we got to get going on that too. So we're not done yet. We have some stuff to show off in the top five overall. And I look forward to seeing you guys in that video when we have enough votes for that. So my closing thoughts have are basically this was a wonderful contest. The best contest we've ever done on the, sh the show in history. The most work I've ever put into any project in Planet Coaster. This was absolutely insane. And I think we all deserve a pat on the back for making this all happen from... <laughs> you guys making it through the videos from the creators all participating and making it onto the show everybody deserves a badge because what we all brought together as a collective whole was absolutely astonishing and that is my closing thoughts so thank you to everyone for being here you're all amazing and i hope you have a wonderful day and we'll see you in the top five overall i know <laughs>